Satan, 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 our Lord and Master, I acknowledge thee as my God and Prince. I promise to serve and obey thee as long as I shall live. I renounce the other Girls, can you keep it down a bit? I'm trying to make a video in here. <laughs> okay. I have a blog and one of the features of the blog is that it tells me what search criteria people have used on sites like Google to find the blog and something that crops up once in a while is the phrase Daryl Sloan Satanist or is Daryl Sloan a Satanist and it sort of tickles me but it also sort of disturbs me a little because I wonder who wrote that? Is it someone in my local area who watches my videos? You know, someone who's maybe wanting to sharpen the, the knives? <laughs> um, anyway, I thought I'd make a video basically giving you the lowdown on Satan. What I know about Satan. The truth about Satan. And who's to say I've got the truth about it? Well, you be the judge of that. But it strikes me that if you want to know about Satan, we should turn to the first use of the word, which is the Old Testament of the Bible. Now, an interesting thing happens when you look up Satan in the Old Testament, or in the whole Bible. If you go to Bible Gateway, BibleGateway.com, excellent site, and you type in the search word Satan, and you call up all the references in the whole Bible to the word Satan, what you notice is there are only three books of the Old Testament that use that word, whereas there are many in the New Testament. And of those three books, there's actually very little mention of Satan. The first one is the, is the book of Chronicles, where there's just one single mention in passing of Satan. There's another mention in the latter book, uh, one of the minor prophets, Zechariah. Again, it's one mention. And the only place where he's actually a character who, who does much is the book of Job, where there are several references to him. So if we want to learn about what Satan is, let's look at the book of Job. Now, the first thing is, what does the word Satan, the original Hebrew word, what does it actually mean? It means adversary or accuser. Now, interestingly... The word is Ha Satan. I'm not sure how it's, exactly it's pronounced, but I'll, I'll go with Ha Satan. And that doesn't quite mean Satan. It means the Satan, the adversary, the accuser. What I'm saying is, and this is very important, Satan isn't even a name, it's a title, it's an office if you like, a judiciary office. Now, if you read the book of Job, and this is a good thing to do, you know, try to forget about everything you have learned about Satan through New Testament theology and pretend for a moment that you are a Jew or an ancient Israelite reading his Old Testament and reading the book of Job. And you're trying to develop an understanding of who this character, the adversary, is. Well, what you notice is, he is playing a role. He appears to be an angel of God, whose name we do not know. And he's playing the role of the accuser. And his job is to accuse Job. And it's very clear from the things that happen in the book of Job, that Satan is not the enemy of God. He cannot do anything without God's permission. He is on God's side. Now, I know that sounds very, very strange to, to Christian ears. But if you read the book of Job objectively, that's exactly what comes out to you. So Satan is an angel of God with a dirty job. Or rather, the Satan. The adversary. Now... Another interesting thing happens when you go to Bible Gateway and you look up the word hell. And I recommend that you do this seriously. You will find 
that all references to the word hell are New Testament references. It doesn't exist in the Old Testament. Now, the automatic Bible translation that is picked for the search on that site is the New International Version. If you search the much older King James Version, you will find lots of references to the word hell in the Old Testament. Now, what's with this discrepancy? Well, the, the actual word used in the Old Testament and translated sometimes as hell and more recently as just the grave is the word Sheol. Now I'm going to include a reference to uh, the Wikipedia entry for that word which is well worth reading and I'm going to read you just a tiny bit out of this right now. In Judaism Sheol is the earliest conception of the afterlife in the Jewish scriptures. It is a place of darkness to which all dead go regardless of the moral choices made in life and where they are quote removed from the light of God, unquote, see the book of Job. Sheol is a concept that predates the Christian and Muslim ideas of judgment after death, and also predates and is different from heaven and hell. It is unclear whether Sheol was to be considered a real place or a way of describing the unknown status of a person's conscious being. So you see, you can't translate the word Sheol as hell. The King James Version is, to put it bluntly, wrong. Because in the usage of that word, everyone goes to Sheol. So, my question is, you know, when you think about it, according to the Christian tradition that there is a heaven and there is a hell, presumably, people have been going to hell for as long as there has been sin. So, my question is, if there's no mention of hell from 2000 BC, when Judaism got off the ground through Abraham, right through to year zero, the time of Jesus, no mention of hell, don't you think that's a bit of a curious omission from the Bible? If indeed hell is a real place? You know what I'm saying? I mean... My question to the Christians who would watch this is, how do you reconcile this? When there's no hell in the Old Testament and there's a hell in the New Testament, at what point does it click? At what point, you know, does it hit home that they're making this stuff up as they go along? They're developing their theology. But you're supposed to have a God who simply tells you what is. Isn't that right? Who tells you the truth. So how can there be no hell for 2,000 years? And then you just pull it out of a hat? The same with Satan. How can you turn Satan into some kind of arch nemesis of God, as he's described in the New Testament, when in the Old Testament he was a completely different character? I mean, Christians, it simply has to be said. These are the facts. And the facts are not on your side. So, to this question, am I a Satanist? Well, let me tell you a secret about Satan. He's not real. Mm. What did you say? Shut up! I'm trying to do you a favour.